Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the intercepts of linear graphs as well as how you can graph the line using the intercepts. Now, this will work as long as your graph does not go through the origin. Because if it goes through the origin, then you only have one intercept and you'd have to find another point. But let's take a look at these two examples. Let's say 2x minus 5y equals 10. Now, if I want to find the y-intercept, I just let x be 0. And if I let x be 0, that would make the 2x eliminate, and I would simply get minus 5y equal 10. And then if you divide both sides by negative 5, you get y equal negative 2. So the y-intercept is the point x equals 0, y is negative 2. Now, to get the x-intercept, let y equal 0, and then that would make the 5y disappear and you would just get 2x equals 10 and then if you divide both sides by 2 you get x equals 5 and so the x-intercept would be the x value would be 5 and the y value would be 0. Now to graph these on a line all you have to do is just plot these two points and draw the line between them. So if I plot the point 0, negative 2 that would give me this point and then if I plot the point uh, 5, 0 that would give me this point and then to graph the line I would just connect the two dots and in other words draw the line through the two dots containing those points and that would give me that line. Now one thing I do want to mention your your x and y intercepts will not always be integer numbers you could get some strange fractions where you might have to just estimate where they are but on both of these examples I'm getting integers for the intercepts. So here, if we let x be 0, then we would get minus 4y equal 12. And then if you divide both sides by negative 4, you get y equals negative 3. So the y-intercept would be the point 0, negative 3. Then if you let y equal 0 to get the x-intercept, you would get 3x equal 12. And then divide both sides by 3, you would get x equal 4. So the x-intercept is the point 4, 0. So to graph that, all I have to do is plot the point 0, negative 3, which would be right here, and then plot the point 4, 0, which is right here, and then draw the line through the two, two points with a ruler. Use a ruler or, or an index card or something for a straight edge, but draw the line through there, and that's the graph of the line uh, 3x minus 4y equal 12. While I've got you here, let me go ahead and share with you the equations for horizontal and vertical lines. For a horizontal line, a horizontal line will always have the equation y equal k, where k is some constant. So let's say you needed to graph the line y equal 3. Okay, well since this line always has the value y equal 3, regardless of what x is, then we know that when x is 0, the y value must be 3. And so all we have to do to graph that is just plot the point 0, 3. And since we know the line is a horizontal line, then we know the line must go through the point 0, 3 in a horizontal fashion. So that's how we graph that line. Now, if you wanted to graph a vertical line, if you want to graph a vertical line, vertical lines have the equation x equal k, where k is a constant. So if you wanted to graph the line x equal negative 2, well, we know the x value is negative 2 regardless of the y value. So when the y value is 0, we know the x value must be negative 2. So that way it gives me the uh, x-intercept. And so I can plot the x-intercept here, negative 2. And now since I know it's a vertical line, I know the line must go through the point negative 2 in a vertical fashion. So therefore, the line would look something like this. And so that's how you graph uh, vertical and horizontal lines. And that's all I have to say on this uh, particular video.